What if you could create an entire scene with two AI characters just by typing one prompt, not just images? I'm talking about instantly generating characters that interact in one frame and turning that into a video with a single click. This is the future of content creation, powered by OpenArt's mind-blowing new multiple character feature. I've never seen anything like this before. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how it works and how you can start using it right now. Click on the link under this video description and you will come to this website. Come over here and click on characters. And from here, you can see these are characters I've created already for myself. If you want to create your character, then you can use any of this option. Either you use start with description or it starts with one image or it starts with four images. I've already covered this topic, creating consistent character on this website. I'll leave the link to that video under the video description. But for this video, let's start with the description. Click on description and from here, you have to enter your character name. For our first character, let's call this character Spider-Man. And from here, you describe your character and here is the description of my character then you come down and pick your style you can either use photorealistic style that is the um, real human you can either use digital art anime 3d or you can come down to use pizza style any of this style you want to go with then you simply pick that style for this style i'm going to select photorealistic then you come down here and click on create preview uh, after some few seconds you have your character ready to go you'll be given three preview to pick from so you're going to pick the one that is most suitable for you. For this, I'll pick the middle character and then I'll come down here and click on create character. Then from here, you just have to wait for some few seconds and your character is going to be created. And from here, we have our characters being created. So this is a particular character we just create. Since we are using multiple characters, then we have to create our second character. To create your second character, you can go ahead to start with description again and create your second character. And for this, I'm going to click on start with description. And for this second character, let's call this second character Wonder Woman. So this is the character name. Then we'll go ahead and add our description of the character that we are going after. So this is our description of our second character. So now we'll go ahead to pick the style we want this character to come in. We select the photorealistic, then go ahead and click on create preview. So from here, we have three preview created for us. You are going to select the one that is most suitable for you. And for this, let me select this, then we'll come down here and click on create characters. Now we have our two characters ready. We have our Wonder Woman and we have our Spider-Man. So it's time for us to create our image. And to create your image, simply come over here and click on create image. You come over here and click on character, then here you click on prompt and reference. So once that is selected, then here we need to switch our character. So click on switch. And from here, you have access to select any character you want to use. So for this, let's select the Spider-Man character. Once that character is selected, it's going to appear here. So here is the character. Then you come over here again and add your second character. And this is the multiple character I was talking about. So once you select on add character, from here you can create a new character. Or you, you can go to the character library and from here you can select existing character on this website. But for this, let's go to our character and from here I'm going to select my next character that I want to use for this. So for this character, let's select the Wonder Woman character that I've just generated and once this character is being selected, over here you're going to see the names of the two characters that you just selected and the first one is the Spider-Man while the second one is the Wonder Woman. So from here we are going to give a description of what we want these two characters to perform. So for this, this is the description I've written at Spider-Man at Wonder Woman are having a big together when to come down here you select the aspect ratio you want to use so for this aspect ratio i'll be selecting the landscape aspect ratio but if you are going for youtube short then you select the portrait aspect ratio come down here select the number of images you want to get per creation so you can take it down to three images four images or five images or you can even take it up to eight images for this let me take it down to three images so i'll come down here and click on create and here, after some few seconds, you have your character being created. You can click on it to open the character, and you can see how cool and realistic this character is. It's blending two of them together, so these are separate characters that we created using this open art AI. So for this, this is our first image, so let's click on this arrow to um, take a look at other images that were generated. So this is the second image, we'll go again, and here is the third image. So if you are satisfied with what you are getting, then you can go ahead, click on download as and download as JPEG, and this will be saved to your device. Now let's 
perform another tax using these, these two characters together again and let's see the outcome so again we'll go over to the prompt area so for this particular prompt area we want them to be riding bike so this is another prompt we have just inputted so we are going to go down again and click on create and after some few seconds we have our image ready you can click on the image to open up the image so you can see how realistic this image is if you go again you can see another image that was generated and now if you are satisfied with this you can go ahead to download this image to your device so for this let's go again and pick another character from this particular place so if you want to use another character if you generate another character if you want to use another character simply come over here so for this character let's switch the wonder woman and for this i have other characters that i've generated so so for this let me use my character which i generated for myself so i'm going to select myself so from here immediately select a new character the name is going to change inside the prompt area so from here i want to challenge spider-man in, in a boxing ring so i'm going to add this is a prompt i've just inputted now i'll go down here go to the create area and click on create so here is the outcome of our image so this is me challenging spider-man in a fight so who do you think we win here so this is me and this is spider-man using this same um, using multiple characters on the open art ai so if you are satisfied with this you can simply go ahead and click on the download as save this as jpeg to our device let's take a look at another image again so this is another image of me challenging the fight so from here we are going to click on download and click on save this to our device it doesn't only stop here you can simply now convert this image into a video and if you want to do that then you can go ahead come here click on image to video and once you click on this particular area so from here automatically your image is going to be added to the area so if you come down here you can see this uh, image has been inputted if you want to change this image you can click on here to change the image but we don't want to change the image you can choose the model from here so if you click in on clink you can either select clink hello standard hello life for 2d art hello standard minimax so anyone you want to go with you can select this so for this let's select clink from here you can adjust creativity level i'm going to leave it as the way it is so here you can select the duration of your video you can either select 10 seconds or 5 seconds so from here is select choose the quality so for this let's leave it as standard then from here you click on create and here is our video you are going to click on it i can see the effects of what we have gotten now you can see how cool and realistic this video is so if you are satisfied with this you can now go ahead click on the download as and download this as mp4 this has been downloaded i'll go ahead again to generate another video using the spider-man so for this let's click on upload so you can upload an image so from here you can upload an image so for this image let's just upload this particular image spider-man sitting with wonder woman so with that image uploaded come down here and click on create to start our curation so from here after some few seconds you can see our, our videos being generated see how cool and realistic this video is so if you are satisfied you can go ahead to download this so with time they are planning on adding more characters so these are just some examples of what you can create using the multiple characters on this website to access this website you can click on the link under this video description or in the pinned comment under this video to access this website you can just play around check out what you can create and let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful do not hesitate to like this video and subscribe to this channel i would like to get your feedback on this particular video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video